Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video here, you are going to learn how to put the safe mode on Windows 10. Now, as many of you know, safe mode is basically a simple stripped version down of Windows. And in safe mode, many of the programs, apps, processes are disabled. And this makes it easy to diagnose problems and remove viruses of your computer. Now, on Windows 10, accessing safe mode is a little different. As you know, on Windows 7, we were used to a convenient way of just say for example as soon as you turn the computer stop tapping F8 repeatedly and then eventually surely but sure slowly but surely uh, you're gonna get to safe mode one Windows 10 is a little different uh, for some reason if you press F8 that won't work and the reason is because uh, Windows 10 boots so fast Windows 8 too Windows 10 boots so fast that it doesn't work. The F8 function no longer works. And in Windows 8, what did work for some people is by holding Shift and pressing F8. But on many computers, that doesn't even work. Shift plus F8. Holding Shift and then pressing F8. On many computers, that doesn't even work. So that's not even reliable. So in this video, you are going to find out three different ways that you can boot to safe mode on Windows 10. You will also find out some advanced ways that are for more, adv more advanced users, which I will talk about last in the video. Okay, let's talk about the number one way, the first way. The first way is to enable uh, safe mode. And to do that, uh, you, are going to, you are going to use the system configuration utility. So, to do that, you can access the task manager. Now, there are two ways to access a task manager. You can press Control Alt Delete, something many people know. Control Alt Delete. And it's going to be got a task manager. Okay. Or you can go to the bottom to the bottom right here and click any empty space in the, in the taskbar. Right click any empty space, right click and then select task manager okay now if the task manager looks like this like the small box right here click where it says more details okay so now you're going to click file and then you're going to click on where it says run new task Okay, so now right here in this field, you are going to type msconfig, that is msconfig. Then you are going to click OK or press Enter. Okay, so now go to the tab that says Boot, and then where it says Save Boot, where it says Boot Options, click the box that says click the box that says safe boot so click this box check this box right here check this box and then you can choose minimal boot or network book net network boot and I don't recommend choosing these alternate shell or active directory repair you know so you can choose minimal or network network means your internet will work on network boot but uh, depending on the kind of internet you use, depending on the, if your adapter and stuff like that, drivers, your internet may not work. Okay, so after you do that, uh, click OK, and then Windows will ask you to restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, Windows will boot to safe mode. Now, as you know, uh, safe mode should look something like this. Where you see safe mode is written on all four corners of the screen the top left the top right the bottom left and uh, the bottom right and all the icons look big and so on so that's safe mode okay so now here is the second way to boot to safe mode and it's really easy it's actually the easiest way uh, one way you can do that is by Oh, and by the way, before going to the second way, one last thing. Uh, don't forget, you can always disable boot to save mode. So you can do the same thing again. You can press Control Alt Delete. 
Control Alt Delete. Click new task. Click on new task. Type MS Config right here in this field. Click OK, and then you go back to where you were, and you can always uh, disable safe mode again because it's going to keep going to safe mode in case you want to disable that. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So to disable safe mode, uncheck this box. All right. Okay, so now here's the second way to boot to safe mode. To do that, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the bottom left corner of the screen right here and click the, the, the start button. And now click on power where it says power. And now pay attention now. Hold the shift key. Hold the shift key and keep holding on it. And click restart so hold the shift key and click restart and even after you click restart continue to hold the shift key and so windows will take you to this screen it will say please wait it's windows is going to say please wait and then you should see this windows will say choose an option continue exit and uh, exit and continue to windows 10 troubleshoot reset your pc or see advanced options so choose the second option that says troubleshoot and then choose advanced options it will give you the option to reset your PC and or advanced options by the way if you want to reset your PC I have another video on that but if you want to boot to safe mode click uh, advanced options and now go to where it says startup settings and windows will say press a number to choose from the option below use number keys or function keys f1 f9 now so basically you are going to use the keys from your keyboard that is f1 through f9 so the keys on the top of your keyboard in the very top f1 to f9 so if you want to boot to safe mode you are going to press F4. So once you press F4, Windows will boot to safe mode. Now, the third way to boot to safe mode is by is by clicking the start button again. And then this time click on where it says settings. And now you go into the part where it says update and security. And then from there, you're going to click on recovery. And then from there, where it says advanced startup, it's as you can see, it says startup from a device or disk, such as a DVD, change window startup settings, always throwing this from a system image and stuff like that. And now, so from there, click restart now. And basically, it's going to take you to that same screen I just showed you. It's going to take you here again and you can follow the same steps all over again now now apparently this is for more advanced users now now apparently you can enable f8 you can actually enable the f8 uh, on windows 10 and you can do that by inserting a code in the command prompt however i will put that in the video description on how to do that it will be, there's a code that you can put in the command prompt and then it will enable F8. However, this will make your computer start a bit slower. Okay, your computer will boot a bit slower, but like like the classical days of Windows, this will enable. Like if you press F8, this apparently will allow you to boot to safe mode. And also, I'll also include a code in case you want to say, for example, you enable that code in case you want to revert back to normal. Okay. So this is how you boot to safe mode on Windows 10. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more.